What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nisha. If you're new here, go ahead and pause this right now and subscribe or check out my other videos. So um, today is Wednesday, July 21st. I have been um, on my DCP since June 3rd. So I thought it would be fun to do like a little one month update, even though it's closer to two months, but whatever. Um, so before I got here, um, I posted like just like the little question box on Insta asking people like what their questions were for people like me that had been accepted into the program and was gonna do um, like an Advantage program so um, of course then I got here lost my tripod had to wait until I had the money to like buy another tripod so um, bought another tripod now I can actually make videos again so yay for that um, so yeah I a little bit about me I go to college full-time online and I did not take a break from school before um, doing this program so that's kind of been an adjustment for me um, but yeah I just wanted to talk a little bit about my process and my progress and just give y'all an update so yeah also I'm gonna do another video um, so if you see me in the shirt I promise I'm not disgusting I'm just gonna film two videos in one day and be productive anyway um okay so i got a bunch of questions that were kind of similar so i'm just going to answer like the top six to keep this video like short sweet and to the point and yeah we'll just go ahead and get right into it so the first question was how did you save money before your dcp so um i know like obviously people still don't really know me i hope you'll get to know me but um for like my Facebook friends, which is mainly consisted of like family and then Instagram followers from like college or just whoever I've made friends with from jobs or whatever, I started a GoFundMe and I think the goal was like a thousand dollars. Um, so because I wanted to save up a thousand dollars on top of saving up a thousand dollars, of or I wanted to raise a thousand dollars on top of saving up an additional thousand dollars that I brought here for a total of two thousand dollars. Show me the money. Now, I'm in no way saying that you need $2,000 to come here because you do not. Um, but like my fees were $375, and that was like the $375 fee that you pay to accept um, the offer is for like two weeks, that first two weeks that you're like not getting paid. So it's two weeks of rent. Um, and then also there was like an $85 fee for the decal like if you are coming with a car you have to have a decal to park here so there was that and then also I knew that I wanted to buy like cute stuff for the, my new apartment and I wanted to like have groceries be able to like um have money for that two weeks um and then also I knew like I wanted to go ahead and like pay my car note or whatever so I just saved up that was the amount of money that I came up with. So I did a GoFundMe. I had a job, obviously. Um, but I feel like other things that you could do, like people will like create and sell t-shirts. People will like create and sell bracelets, earrings, whatever kind of jewelry. I feel like those are all really, really good ways to um, save up money or like raise money without directly asking people like, hey, please give me money. Like at least people are getting something from you. Um, because GoFundMe is great, but most people are weird about just giving you money. Um, and I did raise my $1,000. Like, I reached my goal um, partly because, more, I would say, yeah, partly because, like, the people I was working for at the time gave me a pretty decent donation, which was so kind of them, so amazing, because they were already paying me to be their nanny. So, <laughs> thank you for that. Um, if you're watching this, I don't want to say their name for, like, privacy issues, but yeah. Um, so the second question was, has it been hard to keep up or is it hard to keep up with school while you're on your DCP? Um, I thought it was cool to get that question beforehand because I had already been planning ahead. So, um, my recruiter kind of talked to me a lot about like the educational, um, like tools that they provide. So, um, when you're staying in the Disney housing, like they have a learning center and it's like a big computer lab. I have a lot a laptop, but if you go to online school, then you can definitely relate and know. Like it's much easier to go somewhere to do your homework than trying to like stay at home and do it because like when you're chilling in the bed trying to do your homework, honestly, you're not gonna get much done. You're gonna be chilling out, 
watching TV, talking to your roommate, like not really. But for me, going to the learning center, I'm able to like put on my headphones and get my work done, like be way more productive than I would be if I just like stayed at home. Um, also, if you don't necessarily want to use their computers because you have like a bomb computer and you just like the way your computer is, um, you can, there's like, the, like in the learning center, there's like a private little room. You can like go in there, you can chill out on the couch and do your work there. Um, you can sit outside at one of the tables because the whole complex is Wi-Fi enabled so you'll be able to do anywhere you could go to Starbucks um, So that's one way that I keep up with my work, but then another way so um, Disney offers an independent study hall So I have mandatory Tuesdays and Thursdays off from work every week um, It just started for me because the first month I really didn't know much about it and it was like getting a little hard to keep up with my work and I didn't like um like I got a C in a class and I was just so hard on myself about that because I'm like an honors college student um so I was just like really distraught and probably way overly emotional for that but Disney did a good job of like calming me down and handling me um so oh I don't mean that to sound rude but like in a good way um, but they got me enrolled in the independent study hall pretty fast. So now I have mandatory Tuesdays and Thursdays off, which is so helpful. I'll try to like mostly I'll try to get all my work done on Tuesday so that Thursday when I'm off, I can like go on little adventures or like just chill at the house and just like, all right, I try to give myself one day per week to just be lazy, not do anything and just chill out. So. All right, so the third question is, um, how did you choose your roommates? So, um, when you get accepted, um, Disney lets you know, like, there's a dorm process and you can, like, link with your roommates. Now, to choose your roommates, um, I, of course, went on YouTube and, like, saw everybody talking about the DCP Facebook groups. I will say beware because sometimes they can, like, build up your nerves and some people are a little bit more rude but I think that you just have to have tough skin to be in open groups like that um, because there's just like a bunch of different people a bunch of different personalities all in one group um, so that's my little <laughs> cautionary tale about that but I did go on the Facebook group um, which is how I met my roommate that I linked with I did originally meet six girls connect with them um, but of course um, when we went to like link it tells you you can have between zero and six people and we were fall advantage so we got to do four people so instead of us breaking up like our whole group everyone just picked one person that they wanted to link with to if not anything else like have one person that you knew sleeping in the room with you to make that like less creepy um, but then also um, we like when we did our dorm sign up we and i can talk more about that if you have more questions about what the dorm sign up is just let me know in the comments below and i can possibly make a new video or just hit you up about that but anyway um so then we like all three we linked with our one person and then all three submitted our preferences the exact same way at the exact same time um so yeah but then when it was time to move in I only got my one roommate and then the other two girls were in the same complex as me Vista and then um, but like in another building and then the other two girls were in a completely different complex altogether so that did not go the way that we planned it Ooh, ah, the ghetto the ghetto um, the fourth question is what type of classes are offered so I read a lot um, on the programs page that like there were gonna be marketing and networking and um, so on and so forth classes offered um, but then I got here and they weren't really offered so that was a little disappointing um, but I mean like that's fine because um, it's peak season and I really hadn't been to Disney before this program hadn't really heard much about the program so I was really excited for like the educational aspect of it to really learn about this company to really learn what they expect um, and like how they run things so you're kind of learning that when you're working your job um, but aside from just the educational stuff that it was just like okay whatever and then moved on from that so um, 
another question that I thought was good was um, question number five and that is is it as fun as people make it seem so I feel like um, your experience is going to be based on your personality like me I'm such a nerd so school and career focused that this is fun for me but because like I didn't get those educational classes like I wanted it's like okay this is fun but like I feel like I'm being like not really putting myself ahead I feel like I'm just kind of like chilling out like this is just like a fun summer job to have um so if you're like that then it's still fun but if you're coming here like oh my gosh okay I just want to learn as much as I can then I would say maybe like a professional internship is the route for you to go um but yeah I've loved the people that I've met I've loved um even my leaders are more helpful than I expected them to be um I've gotten to speak with like some of the higher up people which is really fun like you just never know who you're gonna walk past when you're backstage at a park or at a resort eating dinner like you just literally never know who you're gonna meet or even like I've had people stop me um at Publix like they don't really want us to be out like with our name tags on but sometimes after work if you have like your uniform on and people work at Disney like obviously they're gonna be able to recognize the uniform so I've had people stop me to just like tell me experiences of like really cool cast members that did something nice for them or just saying hey to me or just congratulating me on this experience so that's been great um so yeah so far I've loved it and um like I've loved the meeting people aspect of it like being able to say like I have literally met people from all over the world and some of the sweetest people I've met are from like Thailand and Japan and I I just think that's so cool so yeah um and the last question that I chose was are you homesick um or are you homesick a lot and really I expected to be way more homesick than I actually am only because like I've never moved away from home before um, and I have a pretty big family and even extended out to my cousins like we are all so so close and I don't know like I just haven't been homesick I think I really liked living in Orlando and um, just again aside from the educational stuff I've really liked living in Orlando and being here I went on like a nice little adventure the other day and went to Icon Park and loved that I think that's so cool um, and I think it's really cool like visiting Florida so much growing up even though we've never come to Disney we went to like Universal we went to Busch Gardens in Tampa um, so stuff like that so sorry family if you're watching this but I'm not homesick um, <laughs> but yeah I've loved I've just loved being here in this change of scenery it's very hot but it's also very hot in Alabama so whatever um, but yeah so I'm gonna end the video here because I know like nobody likes to just watch a super long video for no reason but yeah if you have any more questions please 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 feel free to comment down below or if you don't feel comfortable commenting just message me um and yeah i would love to answer your questions about this program and yeah i hope you have a beautiful day